Hi everyone, my name is Tomas. I'm one of the engineers here at Graphite. I've taken over a conference room and for the next 20 minutes, over two minute clips, I'm gonna teach you what stacking is and why you should do it. So first things first, what is stacking? Stacking is a Git development workflow where you create branches off of other branches. If you've used Git for a while, you may recognize this workflow or use this workflow. In this case, you already stack. For everyone else, you might be wondering, why would you wanna do this? The short version is that it allows you to paralyze the review and authoring of code changes. Imagine that you just wrote this change, sign in, and you want to go ahead and write this new change, onboarding, that depends on code you introduced in sign in. The challenge you have is that in normal trunk based development, you need to merge sign in into main before you can go ahead and branch off of that to start your onboarding code. In a stack based workflow, you simply go ahead and take that branch sign in and you branch off of that directly to go ahead and begin working on onboarding. About a year ago, the engineering newsletter, The Pragmatic Engineer, covered this workflow. This diagram helps explain it. So you have main, you go ahead, you create your copy of that, make your code changes, create a PR. And while you wait for that PR to be approved, you can go ahead and create new code changes, create a new PR. And while you wait for that to be approved, you can go ahead and create new code changes, create a new PR. And while you wait for that to be approved, while well, the story continues. The advantage of this is that it literally makes you a better engineer. Engineers at Stack tend to be about three times as fast, measured in number of PRs they ship, measured in lines of code touched, and measured in number of tasks closed. It's a really powerful workflow that allows you to get rid of all of this dead time where you're simply waiting on other people to review, or context switching time where you can't work on what you want to work on because you're blocked on review. Beyond allowing you to keep working, it leads to better reviews because you have smaller PRs. It leads to faster merges because reviewers see the 50 line PR instead of the 5,000 line PR and simply, click mer and simply click approve. And it's, by the way, easier for them to give you higher fidelity feedback because it's easier to tell if a 50 line PR is doing what it needs to be doing than a 5,000 line PR. And you have fewer conflicts. That just makes sense. Because if you have two developers that both go off into a hole, write their respective features, and come back together after a week or two weeks, only to discover they have merge conflicts, no one's that surprised. But if both of you are creating small incremental changes over the course of that time, and, and integrating both of those changes into each other's branches, it's more likely that you're less likely to have it's less likely that you're going to have merge conflicts because you've already incorporated the other's code that you would have conflicted with by the time you wrote your new code that touches the same bit. 